The following program was produced by the United States Courts. Virginia Minor, a pioneering advocate in the march to the 19th Amendment, opened the doors for women's right to vote. Mary Beth Tinker, a pioneering 13-year-old Vietnam War protester, set the standard for free speech rights in school. While their times and passions are 100 years apart, they are linked in the legal history of St. Louis. Each woman lost her court case there, but both persisted all the way to the Supreme Court of the United States. On their way, they had an impact on their contemporaries, their communities, and ultimately on the Constitution. Virginia Minor is an example of the power of grassroots organizing, of navigating the legal systems and advocating for real change, not only in her own community, but change that would have resulted in huge ramifications for the entire nation. St. Louis was a site of strategy sessions and conventions where Virginia Minor and Susan B. Anthony organized the early suffrage movement. They publish these resolutions, as they called them, in Susan B. Anthony's newspaper. The revolution was the voice of the movement. It issued a call to action that women, as citizens, already had the right to vote under the 14th Amendment, which established birthright citizenship and equal protection of the laws. They say, basically, like, dear women, you have already been granted the right to vote because of the 14th Amendment. You're guaranteed the right to vote. Go take it. Virginia Minor did just that. She tried to register to vote in the presidential election of 1872, but the St. Louis voter registrar, Reese Happersett, turned her away. Minor's action made national news. She and her husband sued and lost. They appealed and lost again. So they took her case to the Supreme Court of the United States. In 1875, the justices unanimously rejected Minor's claim. Citizenship did not give everyone the right to vote. So the initial strategy was to sort of test the limits of the law and navigate within the existing legal system. They did that and it didn't work, but they didn't give up. Virginia Minor and Susan B. Anthony did not live to see the passage of the 19th Amendment in 1920. They never got to vote, but by working inside the legal system, they set the stage for victory. Their determination inspired another generation of change makers. This is a human rights issue that is going on all over the world. Mary Beth Tinker is a student rights activist who talks civics and civility with students in classrooms and courtrooms around the country. In the 1960s, Tinker and other students wore black armbands to school to protest the Vietnam War. The school suspended them. The students sued, claiming the school district violated their First Amendment rights. Small action by ordinary people is what makes history usually. And that means that young people and kids, 13-year-olds like I was, can make a difference by speaking up and standing up about things that you care about. Like Virginia Minor's voting rights case, Mary Beth Tinker's student speech case went to the Supreme Court. But in the end, the Supreme Court said no, the kids were right. When I talk to young people, I tell them that when you speak up and stand up about something you care about to make a better world, you don't always win, but it's a great way of life, trying. It was actually a really nice experience meeting Mary Beth Tinker. We did go over her case in school. Being able to speak freely about what you care about is just something that's really important. I have a voice too. Some people did walk out during class, though, isn't that right? The third yes. branch of government is very important for our democracy, and it's important for young people to pay attention and to get involved and follow it. There's so many cases that I like to tell students about as I travel around the country that are going to affect their lives. From generation to generation, Americans ask the federal courts to clarify the Constitution, and we the people accept those decisions, win or lose. That's because we agree to follow the rule of law as a vital part of maintaining our democracy. And as long as there are ordinary people like Virginia, Mary Beth, and you, our democracy will be strengthened by every generation.